Clark here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new, please consider subscribing. Give this movie a thumbs up and ring that notification bell so you can be notified anytime I do upload a video. So what I wanted to do today is a quick little get ready with me this morning. My son's at school. I have some coffee in front of me, wearing pajama pants. So I figured we would just kind of hang out and play with some newer makeup. We have my eyebrows done. I have my eyelids primed. I'm going to go ahead and jump in with the eyeshadow palette. I am so excited for. So I bought the Tiny Marvels and Sydney Grace palette. So this palette is from Sydney Grace in collaboration with Mel Thompson. She, Mel Thompson is a YouTuber that I really have enjoyed watching. I think she has just the purest heart. She's super kind and sweet. And I was really excited to see this palette. When I saw the inside of it, I was just so excited to try this. I've never tried Sydney Grace eyeshadows um, but I've heard really incredible things about it. And then when I saw the inside of this palette, it just spoke to me so much that I really, really wanted to try it. I bought it the day after it was revealed, which was the release date, and I'm so glad I bought it. So I figured I would play with this. I've played with it uh, just a little bit. Um, it's definitely a little powdery. I don't mind powdery shadows as long as they blend and they're super pigmented. And let me tell you, these metallics are a one-touch, intense metallic. Let me show you. So I will just wipe on there and then wipe on my hand like look at that that is stunning it is incredible and every single metallic is like that where it's just you touch it once and you can just go forever so they are so beautiful I really love the metallics the mattes are gorgeous I love that there's a ton of transition colors I can build any type of look I want on top of these transitions so I figured I'd go ahead and play with this today and I love the concept behind it, the little um, tiny marvels, the little insects and bugs and everything. That's really cool. I'm going to go into Tree Hopper, which is this really nice matte transition colors. I'm going to put that up in the crease. So I love starting with this color because it is the most perfect warm transition color for any look. Like I could start any type of eyeshadow look with this color and just, and it would work just perfectly. These shadows are super blendable, which I really like that they just blend without a hitch. Like there is no extra work that you have to put into this palette. And the metallics are beautiful and they almost teeter on the side of being almost too metallic, which is fine with me. I'm not mad about it. And I'm gonna go into this Death Moth, which is a bit of a darker, kind of like a khaki, greeny, brown color. And I'm gonna put that up in the crease also, just to deepen that up a little bit. And with the colder weather, I've definitely been getting into a little bit more darker makeup, for sure. So we're going to do something kind of a bit more dramatic. So I'm going to go ahead and cut my crease. I'm going to use the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer, my little flat concealer brush. And then I'm just going to go ahead and start cutting that crease. And at the end, I'm taking the concealer, so I'm cutting the crease, and then I'm just flicking it out just a little bit to add a little bit of a flare to the eye, and I'll fill that in with color, of course. All right, so now I'm going to go into my favorite color in this palette. It is called Fire Butts, and this is just so beautiful. I can't even... I mean, look at that pigment. That is incredible. So I love this color. It is a beautiful silvery greeny taupe color. So I'm going to pack that all over my lid. I like to use these metallics especially because they are a bit more flaky with my fingers. But I use most metallics with my fingers. So I'm going to just tap into it and just tap that onto the lid. Out past the crease a little bit. And then what I do is I'll use the same concealer brush and then kind of line it up with how I cut the crease. And don't worry about the little bit of mess because we will clean that up. And also use that concealer brush just to make sure that this line is crisp up top. And make sure that both sides match. So I'm going to leave my eyes like this. We're going to go do the face and then I will do my under eyes. So to prime, I'm going to use my e.l.f. Blurring Primer Serum. I really like using this primer if I'm using a luminous, lighter weight foundation 
because it really does blur out my skin and my, make my pores look a lot smaller. And then for foundation-ish type, I'm going to go into my Pure Lease Perfect Glow BB Cream. I put this in my favorite summer foundations video. I still really like it, even though it's not quite so summery anymore. I did actually buy this in a lighter shade because I just love it. I really like the consistency. It has a beautiful glow, and it's very lightweight. Um, and the way it fades away is so graceful, you almost don't even notice it fading. So I'm going to just go ahead and apply that with a sponge. This has the perfect amount of coverage for me for an everyday type look. It's not super high coverage, it's very light, but it also just has a beautiful skin-like glow. Um, but it just helps with any discoloration you have. Um, it's not super high coverage, so if you have like acne scars or anything, this isn't going to cover those. And it doesn't really cover your freckles either, your freckles peek out, which is why I really like it, because it looks like my skin just perfected. And then for concealer, I'm going to go into the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. You know, I didn't really like this at first when I first started using it. It wasn't enough coverage, but I definitely found a way to make it work more for me. So I just apply a light amount underneath the eyes, a tiny bit on the nose, and then I let it sit there. I let it sit there for, you know, 20, 30 seconds because I find that this gives me the absolute most coverage if it gets to sit there, kind of dry down just a tiny bit before I blend it out. Because I want the most coverage under my eyes, I always start blending it out on my nose and then I take it from my nose, Cupid's bow, my chin, and then up, to the, up on the forehead. Then I will start under my eyes. I do just a little bit, but I leave the most there and then I pull it out a little bit out here to give me more of that elongated look with my concealer. Take it under the eyes, take it down the cheeks just a tiny bit. And then I will go in and really blend out the inner corner, which is where I have the most pigmentation. Right, so then I'm gonna go into cream bronzer. I honestly have been just loving cream bronzer. As a recent, there's quite a few I really like. I've been using my Fenty cream bronzer a lot. This is in Macchiato. So I will just grab a dual fiber brush Excuse me, it's dirty. I haven't had a chance to wash them. And then I just tap into the product and then I just start applying it. This, this isn't super pigmented, so I am able to really build it up to the intensity that I want. Take a little bit down my nose. So this is the Pretty Vulgar Make Me Blush Blush in Hush Blush. I love this color. It's a very wearable, everyday type pinky color. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that. I love this cool tone, new, like neutral, natural type pink color. All right, I'm going to do highlighter, but before that, I'm going to spray my face down. She's my Urban Decay All Nighter. For highlighter, I'm going to go into my Ofra highlighter. This is the March Beauty Word. This was the Ofra and Samantha March collaboration highlighter. So I'm going to just mix those together and apply those to my cheekbones. Because I only did cream bronzer, I'm going to throw in a little powder bronzer. I'm going to use my Milani. This is the Sunkissed O2. I haven't used this in a little while, so I figured I would hop into this. I really enjoy this bronzer. It's a very beautiful, light, um, lightly baked product. So there's no kick up when you tap into the product. But once you apply it to your skin, it's super smooth. It doesn't add any texture or anything. So I'm going to powder my under eyes. I'm going to use my Jeffree Star Magic Star Powder. Tap those creases out, use my sponge, and just apply a little bit of powder under the eyes. And I'm going to line my jawline with that also. Back into my eyes, I'm going to clean up my crease just a little bit because this metallic color did kind of um, wander up into the crease. I will say with these metallics, they are quite emollient. So if you're blinking your eyes a lot, you might get a little transfer up into your crease. One thing to fix out, I would say would probably be to use a glitter glue with these metallics because they're just so intense, which is not a bad thing. I mean, you really want your metallics to be intense. Um, it's just something to be a little bit more aware of. 
All right, and then for the under eyes, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to go in the, into that tree hopper again and blend out my lower lash line. And kind of bring that up a little bit. I'm gonna go back into the death moth. I'm going to use my Lily Lash Triple X Mascara. This is a wonderful mascara for that lengthened baby doll mascara look. This mascara is awesome. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. I wanted to add a little bit more to the eye. So I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Shockwave Neon Liner. And this is in Scream and this is a bright yellow. So I'm going to apply this to my lower lash line. I really love doing this just to add a little bit of difference to the look. Just to change up just a little bit. and I love a colored liner in my waterline. I'm gonna go into the eyeshadow palette. I'm going into this BB, which is that bright yellow gold. I'm going to apply that into my inner corner. And I'm going to bring that down just a little bit. Oh, that is so, that's so pretty. <laughs> that's so pretty, all right. All I have left is my lips to do. I'm not sure if this lip combination is going to match the eyeshadow, but I really wanted to talk to you guys about this specific lipstick and the color of it, so I figured I would go ahead and try it. If I don't like it, I'll wipe it off and add something different. So I'm going to go into my Morphe Sweetheart Lip Liner. I've been using this lip liner a lot, and I really love the formula. For my lipstick, this is the Fenty Mademoiselle Lipstick in... Pumpkin Rose. I love this color. It is such a unique, um, like, yellow-toned orange color. I love it, but I really, really like it when you line your lips with a really, like, neutrally nude lip liner, and then just tap this into the middle, like that, very gently up in the top. I actually really like this lipstick with this eyeshadow look, so that's awesome. And just kind of rub it out, kind of like the popsicle type lips. Just a very light wash of the color I think is beautiful. All right, so that is the final look. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today, and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye, guys.